Hey guys, it's Linux Next here, and today's video, there is a very exciting thing that I posted on my YouTube community post yesterday, and it's about a Pacific leak that came through from a particular person on X slash Twitter, and he likes to do a lot of trying to find a lot of the Steam information that is in the Steam like database. And one thing that he found was all of these new branding things for Steam and specifically Steam OS and Steam VR. And before this video starts, definitely give it a like and definitely subscribe to the channel. I would definitely appreciate it. And one in particular was Steam OS. And if you don't know, Steam OS is installed on the Steam Deck and it's only been on the Steam Deck mostly for quite a while now, only on that handheld. And there's been some little things like specifically Azus Rogue Ally driver support in SteamOS, but mostly that's been about it. And SteamOS hasn't been publicly available and it hasn't been installed on many different machines or other computers besides the Steam Deck. And if you don't remember, a long time ago, I would say, like what, like a decade ago, uh, SteamOS used to be a thing where there was these SteamOS machines. You could buy, I remember you could buy a Alienware branded one. If we do search up SteamOS machines, and there's been plenty of videos about this with SteamOS machines. But I was like, this, I remember seeing this in storefronts back in like 20, like 12 or something like that, or 2013. And these ran SteamOS 1, 1.0, and it ran uh, Debian with GNOME. And the problem was that there wasn't many games that you could play on that machine when it came to Linux gaming, because it was Linux, and Proton wasn't a thing yet. So when it came to game support, you had to rely on the native ports, which most game publishers didn't want to port their games over to a machine that was running operating system that hadn't really matured yet. It was still rather new, the whole Linux desktop ecosystem of things. And so it's quite interesting that this was discovered, which could indicate that either third party manufacturers are gonna start selling SteamOS machines again or SteamOS handhelds as well. And that also means that with these machines coming out, I know a lot of the manufacturers that they would partner up with would sell those specific handhelds or machines. They would sell those into the local market of shops. So like over here, they'd be selling it in Harvey Norman, JB Hi-Fi, some of the other stores you can go and find in Australia. They would be selling those machines in there. So when it comes to the marketing of SteamOS, it could get really big because of all these third-party manufacturers start selling their machines with SteamOS pre-installed in it, which means Linux gets a bump in market share. And then also, like one other person said in the comments on that YouTube community post that I did, maybe even laptops could start pre-installing SteamOS because there is a desktop mode in SteamOS. You just need to click the exit button, I think it is, or the power button, and then you go exit to desktop mode or switch to desktop mode, and it just boots into a KD Plasma desktop and you can use it like a regular desktop. So that also could mean that drivers could get really good when it comes to laptop support because of SteamOS being pre-installed on those laptops in those stores. Now, that's a bit like that whole situation I just explained might not happen. It may just be the SteamOS machines first and then maybe laptops later, but it's very awesome to see this leak that was discovered. Also, there was uh, Steam VR. So probably Steam VR is probably gonna get better. I heard there was another leak where there was some Steam VR controllers, some new ones and they do look okay. I'm not really into Steam VR uh, that much or just VR in general, but this video is more about the SteamOS machine. So I do really hope that SteamOS does bring back these uh, whole SteamOS machines because they were really handy. And also I think a SteamOS or Steam controller, the new Steam controller that got leaked also, will be a great addition to combining it with a SteamOS machine. As I remember, SteamOS machines used to be bundled with the Steam controller. So that's about it for this video, I would say. It's really awesome to see uh, SteamOS becoming a, a more of a wider scope of things with other machines and manufacturers partnering up with Valve to bring SteamOS onto those machines, whatever they're building, or even like laptops. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely give it a like, definitely subscribe to the channel. And thank you to my supporters. I'll show a screenshot of you now. Thank you so much for giving me money every single month. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.